like a little frog bog. And, 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 and uh, Governor Christie's kids taught me the right technique for hitting the hammer to get those frogs in the buckets the way I was supposed to. Uh, and, and of course, I met with folks who are still rebuilding after Sandy. Now, there we, go. we all understand there is still a lot of work to be done. Yes. There are homes to rebuild. There are businesses to reopen. There are landmarks and beaches and boardwalks that aren't all the way back yet. But thanks to the hard work of an awful lot of people, we've got wonderful shops and restaurants and arcades that are opening their doors. And I saw what thousands of Americans saw over Memorial Day weekend. You are stronger than the storm. After all you've dealt with, after all you've been through, the Jersey Shore is back, and it is open for business. And they want all Americans to know that they're ready to welcome you here. And I've got to say, if if they ever let me have any fun, I'd have fun here. Yeah. I, I, I was telling my staff on the ride over, yeah, I, I, I could see being a, a little younger <laughs> and having some fun on the Jersey Shore. Oh, yeah. After I leave off. I think a friend of mine from here once put it pretty well. Down the shore, everything's all right. He's the only guy a president still has to call the boss. Other than the first lady. But for generations, that's what this place has been about. Now, life isn't always easy. We're people who have to work hard and do what it takes to provide for our families. But when you come here, everything's all right. And whether you spend a lifetime here or a weekend or a summer, the shore holds a special place in your heart and it, a special place in America's mythology, America's memory. You know, when I was here seven months ago, uh, Hurricane Sandy had just hammered communities all across the East Coast and lives were lost. Homes and businesses were destroyed, and, and, and folks were hurting. And I remember something uh, Chris said back then. He said, we cannot permit that sorrow to replace the resilience that I know all New Jerseyans have. And it didn't. You didn't let it. You kept going. Because these towns have a special character. Not just in the summer, but all year round. From the moment the hurricane hit, first responders worked around the clock to save lives and property. And neighbors opened their homes and their hearts to one another. And you came together as citizens to rebuild. And we're not done yet. And I want to make sure everybody understands that. Because uh, for, for somebody who, who hasn't seen their home rebuilt yet, uh, or is, is still trying to get their business up and running again, after all those losses, we don't want them to, to think that somehow we checked a box and we've moved on. That's part of the reason I came back. To let people know we're going to keep on going until we're finished. wondered whether the shore could ever be all right again, you got, you got your answer this weekend. From, from Seabright to Bayhead, from Belmar to Heights, folks were hanging out on balconies and beaches. Shows were sold out at the Stone Pony. Kids were eating ice cream, going on rides. Going and eating some more ice cream. <laughs> Guys were trying to win those big stuffed animals to impress a special girl. <laughs> so, like I said, the, the Jersey Shore is back in business. The work's not over, though. Seven months ago, I promised you that your country would have your back. I told you we would not quit until the job was done, and I meant it. I meant it. Craig Fugate, the head of FEMA. He couldn't be here today, but I want to thank him and his team for their ongoing work. FEMA was here before Sandy made landfall. They're still here today. They're working with the governor's team and with the task force I set up to support families and communities who still need help. Since the storm hit, we've provided billions of dollars 
to families and state and local governments across the region, and more is on the way. And even as my team is helping communities recover from the last hurricane season, they're already starting to prepare for the next hurricane season, which starts this Saturday. Because if there's one thing that we've learned last year, it's that when a storm hits, we've got to be ready. Education, preparation, that's what makes a difference. That's what saves lives. And anyone who wants to make sure they're ready for a hurricane or any other disaster, I want them to visit something a, a website called ready.gov. Make a plan. It's never too early. And we've also got to remember that rebuilding efforts like these aren't measured in weeks or months, but they're measured in years. And that's why just, just this past Thursday, we announced billions of new relief aid for New York and New Jersey transit agencies. And that's why the Army Corps of Engineers is working to restore beaches and strengthen the shore's natural defenses. That's why I joined Governor Christie and your representatives fighting to get a relief package through Congress. We're going to keep doing what it takes to rebuild all the way and make it better than it was before. Make it stronger than it was before. Make it more resilient than it was before. So, Jersey, you've got a, you still got a long road ahead, but when you look out on this beach, this beautiful beach here, even in the rain, it looks good. You look out over the horizon. You can count on the fact that you won't be alone. Your fellow citizens will be there for you, just like we'll be there for folks in Breezy Point, in Staten Island. And, obviously, we're going to be there for the folks in Monroe, Oklahoma, after the devastation of last week. Part of the reason I wanted to come back here was not just to send a message to New Jersey, but send a message to folks in Oklahoma. When we make a commitment that we've got oh your God. back, we mean it. And we're not going to finish until the work is done. Because that's who we are. We help each other as Americans through the bad times, and we sure make the most of the good times. So let's have some good times on the New Jersey shore this summer. And next summer, and the summer after that, and all year long, America, bring your family and friends, spend a little money on the Jersey shore, you'll find some of the friendliest folks on earth, some of the best beaches on earth, and you'll see that even after a tough couple of months, this space is as special as ever, and down the shore, everything's still all right. Thank you, everybody.